guys, how are you all doing? So today I'm here with a book review of Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Cinder is a really interesting fairy tale retelling of Cinderella. Cinder, she is a cyborg, so she's human, but she has robot parts, and she lives in New Beijing. She is a mechanic, and Prince Kai comes to her with one of his robots, asking her to fix it. And there is also this deadly plague that one of Cinder's stepsister catches. There's quite a bit going on here. First off, the plot. I love the idea of fairy tale retellings, and I think this is a fantastic retelling. It doesn't follow Cinderella. 100%. It's got its own unique twists and its own unique elements. It's more of a fresh reimagining of Cinderella, which I thought was fantastic. The world is just so full on. There is so much going on. So there are also the Lunars, which are beings from the moon, and the Queen, I can't remember her name, she's basically trying to form an alliance with Earth by marrying Prince Kai. And then there is also one of Cinder's stepsisters who catches the plague and Cinder is trying to find a way to cure her. So she's she's on a bit of a mission there. And then there is also the whole Prince Kai thing, how he's come to her with his personal robot and it's just not turning on. She's trying to figure out what is wrong with it. So there's also a lot of mystery behind that. And furthermore, there is, you know, a bit of a connection between Cinder and Prince Kai. So there's a lot going on in this story, but it all works so well together. It really flows. Characters. I really love Cinder. I love her so much. She's a brilliant, brilliant main character. She loves her little stepsister who was caught the plague. She's doing the best she can to find a cure for it, but she's also really victimized by her stepmother and also her other stepsister. The interesting thing is I can kind of empathize with the stepmother on some level. I kind of understand her strong feelings towards Cinder. I can understand where these feelings come from. So I think that was really good as well because she's not just some evil stepmother. She's human. She has her motives. So I thought that was really, really well done. And then Prince Kai, he's also so charming. Oh my god. And just overall, all of the characters that come into this story, they're really interesting. They're really unique. They all have their little secrets and everything, which was really interesting to find out more about them. The story was just fantastic. Everything about it, the writing was phenomenal. The world that was created was magnificent. I just love everything about it. I get really creeped out when people are just outside my window, especially when I'm recording because I have the windows open so that sun can get in and I get really paranoid. Oh. But there's just so many twists and turns. It's insane what happens. The story is just really mysterious. There are so many secrets. There are so many things hidden. It just keeps you kind of wanting to know more. This is probably one of my favorite books of all time. I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. This is an absolutely fantastic book. I can't stress that enough. As soon as I finished it, I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I just could not stop thinking about it. I get so passionate thinking about this book and talking about it. It's just really freaking awesome. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Pick it up, seriously, you need to read it. Definitely five out of five stars. Okay, I will see you guys later. Bye.